Hello, today we are going to learn how to state trigonometry ratios of sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. Let theta be an acute angle of a right triangle. This is hypotenuse. The side which is opposite theta is opposite. The side which beside theta, we call it as adjacent. So, we will have H O A. Therefore, sine theta is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse, which is equivalent to O over H. Cos sine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to A over H. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent, which is equal to O over A. This is the three main trigonometric ratios. I have some learning tips for you to remember these three main trigonometric ratios we may use so as size equal to opposite over hypotenuse and we will have car as cos equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and finally is toa we will have tangent equal to opposite over adjacent And we know that cosecant theta is equivalent to 1 over sine theta, which is equivalent to H over O. Secant theta is equivalent to 1 over cosine theta, which is equivalent to H over A. And cotangent theta is equivalent to 1 over tangent theta, which is equivalent to A over O. And we also notice that sine tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cos sine theta, which is equal to O over A. For example, if cotangent theta equal to 3 over 4 and is an acute angle, 5 tangent theta, sine theta, secant theta, and cosecant theta. Cotangent theta is equivalent to 1 over tangent theta, which is adjacent over opposite. We draw a right triangle in the first quadrant. We have the value of adjacent as 3, opposite as 4. To find the length of hypotenuse, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So, the value of h equal to the square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is square root of 9 plus 16. We have the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So, tangent theta will be equal to 4 over 3, which is opposite over adjacent. Sine theta is 4 over 5, which is opposite over hypotenuse. Secant theta is 1 over cosine theta, which is 5 over 3, hypotenuse over adjacent, and finally, Cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta is equal to 5 over 4, which is hypotenuse over opposite. For the next examples, is given tangent theta equal to 1 over 7. Evaluate the Cosecant square theta minus secant square theta over cosecant square theta plus secant square theta. We 
will have the tangent theta equal to 1 over 7, which is opposite over adjacent. We draw a right triangle here. We will have the opposite of 1 and adjacent of 7. To find the hypotenuse, we have to use the theorem Pythagoras h equivalent to the square root of 1 square plus 7 square you will have the square root of 1 plus 7 is square root of 8 which is equivalent to 2 so, 2. so we have the hypotenuse of 2 so 2 therefore Cosecant theta is equivalent to 1 over sine theta, which is equivalent to hypotenuse over opposite. We have the value of 2 sub 2 over 1. Secant theta is equivalent to 1 over cos theta, which is equivalent to hypotenuse over adjacent. We will have the 2 sub 2 over sub 7. So from the given expression, so we are going to substitute the value of cosecant theta and the value of secant theta into the given expression as this. We expand the value and evaluate. We simplify it until we get 3 over 4. 